Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back. Today I have an unboxing to share with you all of a diamond painting that I feel so lucky that I get to share with you. It's I suppose a bit of a preview of sorts. This is actually from Enablers Outpost and is one of their new releases and they were so beyond sweet and kind and generous to send this to me so that I could share it with all of you um, as part of this being a new release. So oh my gosh when they showed me this artwork I was over the moon. I was like, this is so gorgeous. It is perfectly my taste and I'm thrilled. I just am so incredibly thrilled. So um, in case you didn't know, Enablers Outpost carries legally licensed diamond paintings from a variety of artists and a variety of styles. They're maybe more well known for their hand-turned diamond painting pens as well as uh, their scented putty called Enablers Outpost Chit, which is the Romanian word for putty. And they expanded into licensed diamond paintings a while back and just continue to add to their selection and the quality is really nice. I have completed two kits from them. I will link to the post reviews on both of those so you can get a sense for what these look like completed. Uh, but spoiler alert, I loved them. So I'm going to stop leaving you in suspense and dragging this out. And uh, there is an image on the end. There is the image of what we're going to be unboxing together today. The title of this piece is Storm Blessed. The artist is Colorful Cat Studio. That's the logo for Enablers Outpost. And then we've got, this is gonna have square drills. That's the model number. And then 50 by 60 is gonna be the size. Now I did cut this open because I wasn't totally sure what it was because they had it shipped to me direct from the manufacturer. I didn't get it from Enablers Outpost. Like I didn't go to them first, it just came straight to me. So that is why it is already cut open. <laughs> it got just a tiny bit crunched in shipping, but I'm not even remotely worried about it. <laughs> So I like that they have the sticker on the end so you can tell what painting is in here. Uh, but this is just the box. Just got all the kind of just basic diamond painting, DIY painting. <laughs> Let's get into what's inside though. That's, that's what we're all here for. <laughs> so I believe that's everything. All right, so, oh, I love the material on their canvases. It's a really nice sturdy material, but it feels like it's a really nice weight to it. And I have completed one of their canvases with this material before and it holds the drills beautifully and lays flat beautifully as well. I'm sorry, I'm just so happy right now. Look at this artwork. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I'm just completely and totally in love. Oh my gosh, a huge, 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 huge thank you to Elizabeth and Edward over at Enablers Outpost for sending this to me. I so appreciate it and I'm absolutely over the moon. Oh. I love it. Now I have a thing for dragons. If you happen to be new here and you didn't know that, that's one of the reasons that I am really especially geeking out over this painting is because I love dragons. I love the emotion that's happening in this piece right now with like the girl that's reaching up for her dragon friend. I just want to be her really. <laughs> I think the art is absolutely beautiful. Um, I am gonna help this lay a little bit more flat. So if you happen to be looking at the back of the canvas there when I was showing that to you and rolling it, there's these little just slight creases. Don't worry about those at all. This is poured glue on a really nice canvas that just is how the canvas ended up kind of folded around the diamonds and stuff. So one way that you can help it to kind of get rid of those is to do what I'm doing right now, which is to peel back the plastic cover. I go halfway each direction and then lay it back down and it already looks better. It's going to be fine, you guys. I promise it's going to be fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to go the other way. You can also roll it backwards like I did, or you can even put it in between some mattresses if you're worried about it. I will tell you with confidence that I just, I'm not. <laughs> you can tell, I feel like, when you have your hands on a canvas like this, that it's a really nice weight and a really nice material, and that those are going to go away. That's not actual rivers or anything in the glue. So anyway. There's our gorgeous, 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 gorgeous artwork from, again, the artist is color, the Colorful Cat Studio. And let me show you what else was included. So we have our bag of diamonds. We'll look at these in a little bit. We have, oh, we have our toolkit. It is a basic toolkit. It's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting in it. So this is very, very beginner friendly. I feel like the price point is really good on these as well, especially considering that they are fairly compensating artists. 
Anyway, so we have a tray. We have some blue wax and a caddy. We have some multi-placers. And then we've got pen and squishy, basic pen and squishy. And then a pair of tweezers. So literally everything you need to do your diamond painting, you will be all set to go. And then we've got a little info and inventory sheet from Enablers Outpost. So there's their logo. Aw, established 2020. Look at that original artwork. Just look, admire, be in a happy place like I am right now. I love it. So Storm Bless is the title of this. So it looks like the artist is the Colorful Cat Studio, but maybe her legal name is actually Rachel Byler. Uh, here's the specifics, 50 by 60 centimeters. Uh, or 19.69 inches by 23.62 inches, 36 colors, ooh, two ABs, poured glue, and square drills. So I haven't done a kit from them with square drills yet. I'm excited to try these ones out. Here is a note from them. Hello, friend. <laughs> we want to thank you for purchasing one of our Generation 3.1 diamond painting kits. So yes, the artwork is legal, is responsibly and legally sourced through the artist. And I love that they linked to the artist's socials. So I will link to those below as well. Purchasing from artists Etsy shops is a really great, great way to support artists as well. Uh, so here's some more info about the artist. I love it. And then over here we have our color list or our legend. So it looks like we're gonna have in total 36 colors and here's those two ABs. The symbols all look clear. And like hopefully there aren't too many that are similar. This symbol right here and this symbol right here are a little bit similar. We'll look at those on the canvas and make sure those don't look like we'll mix them up, but not that worried about it. The DMC code list over here, um, this is the code system that most diamond painting companies use. So like in any company, DMC 310 is always gonna be black if they're using the DMC color code system. So I appreciate that Enablers Outpost is using that as well. Let's go on a little tour of this gorgeous canvas. <laughs> so up here at the top, there's their branding Enablers Outpost. I love their little branding image. So cute, Elizabeth and Edward. The edges, you can see they're scallops. They've got some finishing. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying. I didn't have any fraying on the kits that I completed from them before. Uh, the backing, it's it's like a stiff, like tight weave, but it's it just feels really sturdy and like a really nice, luxurious weight. And it's already laying flat pretty nicely too. We have a legend up here at the top left, you can see. And then we have a legend down here at the bottom right that also includes a thumbnail and uh, the model number and the size, 50 by 60 centimeters, well, 36 colors. And there's the copyright information, the title of the artwork and the artist's name. I find that companies, if they are getting artist permission and legally licensing artwork to use, they're gonna brag about it. You're gonna hear about it because while art theft is very common in the crafting world, um, because it does, it costs more to compensate artists and license the artwork from them. Um, that's why I really feel like companies that are doing right by artists should not only be shouted out by crafters and creators, but I think it's usually pretty obvious because like I said, they're gonna advertise if they're doing it. <laughs> Looking up at the drill field a little bit closer, uh, there's some alphanumeric and then some, you know, a mix of symbols that are not alphanumeric. <laughs> uh, it looks like we're gonna have a good amount of what we call confetti. Confetti is when you have, here's a really good example, here on the dragon scales on his legs <laughs> or her legs. Lots of color changes in a small area. You'll mostly be single placing throughout there and changing out the color in your tray more often, even if even if you don't multi-place it all anyway. <laughs> Areas with color blocking, or sorry, with confetti like these, while they do take a little bit longer to complete, the good thing is that it usually translates into even more detail with your painting. By comparison, we do have some smaller areas of what we might call color blocking. So if you look here, we have a bunch of this kind of three point symbol all in one area. That's a little bit of color blocking. You can use your multi-placer in that area and you'll have that color in your tray for just a little bit longer. Uh, so those tend to go a little bit faster. Look at our dragon eyes. Oh my gosh, I love, I'm so happy right now. I love the style of this artwork and I believe this is the first that they have from this artist. I hope 
that it is but the first of many because I'm so happy. I love like fantasy, like high fantasy kinds of artwork. I love the softer, almost like watercolor vibes. And of course I love that it's a dragon, but I love that it's like a fierce dragon and not like a cutesy dragon. I just, I'm here for it. Like I feel like this could be the cover of a novel, you know? Oh, I'm absolutely in love. The symbol printing looks really clear on the canvas. Those symbols, those two that I was like, are we gonna mix those two up? I didn't even see them near each other. So I'm guessing that really means it's gonna be a non-issue. The printing is really clear. I'm not worried about it, genuinely. But look at how pretty it is. All right, let's do a really quick measurement though and make sure we're true to size. Like usually we are, but I always like to double check. So what was it 50 by 60, I think? Uh, yeah, so we are, well, after the tiny little, like tiny folds in the fabric, yeah, we're like the tiniest tick shy of 60, top to bottom. And that is inches, not helping me. Uh, and we're at about 50 on the nose left to right. So we are true to size. Not surprising. <laughs> that was the case with the other kits I've worked on and unboxed from Enablers Outpost. So let me grab the diamonds. Let's take a look at these. Like I said, I have not worked with a square drill kit from Enablers Outpost before, so I'm very much looking forward to testing these out. Uh, so we have the model number here on the front, the EOS 17 matches up with the EOS 17 on the canvas. So if I store these separately from the canvas and outside of the box they came in, super easy to match up later. All right, so this kit has oodles of grays and neutrals, which I love. And then if you take a look on the front of the bag, so this top number, that's the DMC code, so DMC 310. 7.1 is the weight, so 7.1 ounces. These are done in ounces. Um, they also, I'll point out, of course, if you didn't notice, that these came in Ziploc baggies. A lot of people actually really love working out as it block baggies. It just makes it very simple to open up your kit, start diamond painting right away. <laughs> to be honest with you, I do not work out as it block baggies, but that's a me problem. I'm very klutzy, <laughs> so I will spill my diamonds. We will save those to look at last, our ABs. Uh, but I just will make a mess with the diamonds if I try to exclusively work out a baggie. So I'm gonna take these and put these into storage containers. What I probably am gonna do is take this strip right here. This is printed on just regular paper, but I have a sticker maker, a Xyron branded sticker maker. I'll try to link to one or two of those in uh, the description on Amazon if you're curious. But I'm gonna feed this through my sticker maker and then I have sticker labels that I can put on my containers or on the baggies if I want to. So that's my plan. These pretty, pretty neutrals. Oh my gosh, and these pale greens and pale grays. It's a really pretty cream color. Ooh, that bag is a little bit open. I thought so. I thought I was like, there's one of these bags that is a little bit open. Not a big deal. Okay, actually, this is a good demonstration anyway. The other reason that I don't work out of baggies, you see how these are clinging to the sides? <laughs> My climate is really dry and that often translates to staticky drills. I find that whether or not your drills have static is 95% climate dependent, honestly, and Ziploc baggies are very static prone for my climate. What I'm gonna do is I have some sheets of dryer sheet cut up into squares. I'm just gonna open up this bag, tuck in a couple of squares of dryer sheet, and then just shake it around, and that's gonna get rid of the static, and I can pour it into storage containers. So uh, I've seen lots of tricks for dealing with static lately. Some people recommend, I have not tried this myself though, is to dip a Q-tip in rubbing alcohol. Not soak it, but just dip it lightly and then like swirl it around in the bag. I gotta try that one of these times. So I'm kinda like, does that really work? <laughs> it's just because you're introducing moisture. <laughs> but anyway, lots of grays, yellows, and browns. And I was gonna say, I wanted to look at the quality on these too and see. So I'm looking and I see very clean cut square drills. I'm not seeing like any with tabs sticking off the side. They look really uniform in size. Those are the kinds that I look for in the bag because square drills can be a little bit finicky. If they're inconsistent in size or have like tabs sticking off the back or something, that can sometimes result in popping drills because they'll kind of push up against each other and there's just not enough space for them. But I will say that these look good. So the two that I set to the side that I wanted to show you, these are the AB drills that were included in this kit. 
AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Just like the Northern Lights have a shimmery, iridescent, like color shift effect. That's where these get their name. The iridescent coating on the top of these that has that color shift effect and is super colorful. It's even more sparkly than the regular diamonds are. The areas of these have been placed on the canvas. It's gonna dry your eye to those areas a bit. It's just gonna give off an extra glimmer and glitz and even maybe pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around it. This gray one, the coating on the top is a little bit more in your face. It's a little more bold. It's reflecting like pinks and greens and blues. <laughs> this one, this white one, it's a little bit more subtle, but it is still reflecting lots of colors. So anyway, so let's take a look on the canvas. I want to see where these two ABs go and point it out to you guys. Ooh, there's some of those loose drills from that open bag. I'm just going to put that back in there. All right, so we're looking for the symbol, uh, the number three and the little triangle symbol. And let's see, so the triangle symbol is the white AB. That's all in her dress. Ooh, ooh, I like that a lot. That's going to be pretty. The number three, I my guess is it might be in some of the dragon scales, but I got to find it because yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the number three is kind of sprinkled throughout the dragon scales here and is sprinkled throughout here on the dragon's chest. There's not like big clumps of it, it doesn't look like. It looks like it's kind of just really lightly sprinkled in there, which actually I love because if you think about it, imagine dragons are real, one. <laughs> and two, imagine what is gonna like glint off their body, what's gonna catch the light? It's gonna be like the edges of their scales. And so having some of that silver, yeah, is sprinkled through here on like the dragon's shoulder. There's lots of it just sprinkled throughout. I think that's gonna make the dragon scales just have that like metallic shimmery effect. I like it. <laughs> and yeah, it's really, you guys, it's all sprinkled throughout the dragon scales, even going up its neck. Let's see. Okay, so here, kind of the, this part of its wing, there's some of that gray AB sprinkled through there. Same here, these kind of like ridges and lines, which you cannot really see because that was out of frame. Okay, so up here, <laughs> kind of, uh, throughout its wing where you're seeing the gray, the, the curved hook at the tip of its wing here, and sprinkled through here as well. Then on its, did I look, I'm gonna look on its face. Do we have some on its face as well? A little bit here on the underside of his jaw. Some on like its brow ridge here and a little bit up here. So basically in the dragon <laughs> is where we're gonna find this gray AB. And I love it, I love it, I love it. I think that's gonna be so perfect. Oh my gosh, this makes me so, so incredibly happy, you guys. I was just checking to see if there were any in like the gray in the clouds or anything, I, none are catching my eye. So I think it's basically the dragon. The dragon gets the gray, gray ABs and its scales. Ah, you guys, I love it so much. A huge thank you again to Enablers Outpost for sending this over to me. I am so happy and I absolutely can't wait to work on this one. My guess is that I'm gonna start this sometime in the next month. I have a couple of projects that I uh, need to work on that are a little more time sensitive, but this is absolutely gonna be a priority because this is giving my heart so much happiness right now. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, let me give you a really quick recap on this one and let you know how you can get your hands on it yourself. So uh, the title on this one is Storm Blessed. The artist is The Colorful Cat Studio, AKA Rachel Byler. And this is a kit that was licensed by Enablers Outposts. This is from Enablers Outpost. Now, as long as you're watching this around the time that it goes up, you are able to actually go and join in on the pre-order for this kit. I was just looking on their website. It looks like they're gonna keep this pre-order open through about mid-November. And then they're gonna put in the pre-order and they're anticipating that depending on shipping with the holidays and whatnot, um, that they'll have these in hand from their factory by the end of, December, by the, end of the year. But that all can change. They may decide to extend the pre-order period for longer or whatnot. The best advice I have for you is to follow them on their socials, 
check in on their website to stay up to date with uh, dates and deadlines and stuff like that. That way you know what's coming. <laughs> so in addition to this particular kit, they have a number of other diamond paintings available for purchase and pre-order. Um, they have some fun Mooka Old Masters kits. They have some dragons from Emma Casey. Uh, they have some gorgeous kits from Indie Creates. And I'm sure that I'm forgetting some artists. They've done some amazing seasonal kits and just announced that there are some more Christmas seasonal kits that are coming that I'm very, very, very excited about. So be sure to go and take a look. They have some really nice variety and I bet something will catch your eye. And like I said, I'm really hoping that even though this is the first of the kits from this artist that we're going to see many more to come. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this unboxing was helpful and that I have thoroughly convinced you that you need to have this painting in your life because you do. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's that original artwork again, by the way. It looks like, yeah, I mean, it looks like they've captured the vibe and the detail of it really well. It almost has like a a little bit of a stained glass vibe. This is going to look so good when it's complete. I'm so happy right now, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I will link to the listing for this kit in the description box, as well as to Enablers Outpost, like the diamond painting section of their website. And be sure to check out their other diamond painting accessories, like their pens and their putty. Um, I really enjoy both of those as well. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I hope it was helpful. If it was, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head out? Out. And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, I would love to have you. Feel free to hit the subscribe button just down here and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have an amazing rest of your day. I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.